Embryology is the fascinating field of study that unravels the intricate processes involved in the development of various organs and systems in the human body. One organ that undergoes complex and dynamic development during embryogenesis is the esophagus. The esophagus is a muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach, allowing the passage of food and liquids. Its development involves a series of highly coordinated cellular and molecular events that ensure the proper formation and function of this vital organ. The process of foregut differentiation and the subsequent formation of the esophagus are essential steps in embryonic development. During the fourth week of gestation, the foregut begins to differentiate into distinct regions, including the esophagus. This differentiation is initiated by a complex interplay of specific cellular and molecular mechanisms. As the foregut undergoes differentiation, a crucial process known as tracheoesophageal septum formation occurs. This process is responsible for separating the developing esophagus from the respiratory tract, ensuring that food and air travel through separate pathways. The intricate cellular behaviors and signaling pathways involved in septum formation play a vital role in establishing the structural separation between the respiratory and digestive systems. Signaling pathways play a paramount role in esophageal development. Various molecules, such as fibroblast growth factors, FGFs, and bone morphogenetic proteins, BMPs, guide the growth and patterning of the esophagus. These signaling pathways regulate the proliferation and differentiation of esophageal cells, ensuring the proper morphogenesis of this organ. Cell proliferation and migration are fundamental processes in esophageal development. During embryogenesis, cells undergo proliferation to increase the size and length of the developing esophagus. Additionally, cells undergo migration to reach their appropriate locations, contributing to the proper elongation and growth of this organ. Apoptosis, or programmed cell death, also plays a critical role in esophageal remodeling. Aptotic mechanisms selectively eliminate unnecessary or defective cells, thereby shaping and refining the developing esophagus. The controlled removal of cells is crucial in establishing the appropriate structure and function of this organ. The development of the muscular layers of the esophagus is a complex process that involves the formation of both the inner circular and outer longitudinal muscle layers. These muscle layers are essential for the peristaltic movements that propel food down the esophagus. Interestingly, defects in muscular layer development can result in functional abnormalities, such as disorders affecting swallowing. The formation and differentiation of the esophageal epithelium are critical for the integrity and function of the esophagus. The epithelial lining undergoes specialized differentiation, with the development of specific cell types, such as squamous epithelial cells, mucus secreting cells, and specialized cells for sensory perception. These cells collectively ensure the proper clearance and transport of ingested material. In the complex process of esophageal development, interactions between the mesenchyme, embryonic connective tissue, and epithelium play a vital role. Mesenchymal epithelial interactions guide the morphogenesis and differentiation of both tissue types, contributing to the overall organogenesis of the esophagus. Signals from the mesenchyme instruct the epithelial cells to undergo specific developmental programs, ultimately resulting in the formation of a functional esophagus. Genetic factors heavily influence esophageal development. A wide array of genes and molecular pathways control the intricate processes involved in esophageal morphogenesis. Mutations or alterations in these genes can lead to structural abnormalities or functional deficits, causing congenital anomalies in the esophagus. The identification of these genetic factors is vital for understanding the etiology and potential therapeutic interventions for such conditions. Congenital anomalies and malformations of the esophagus, such as esophageal atresia and tracheoesophageal fistula, have a significant impact on normal development. These conditions involve improper formation or connection of the esophagus, leading to complications in swallowing, digestion, and respiration. Understanding the underlying etiology and management strategies for these anomalies is crucial to ensure optimal outcomes for affected individuals. Various developmental disorders can affect the structure and function of the esophagus. Esophageal atresia and tracheoesophageal fistula are among the most common developmental disorders encountered clinically. These conditions often require surgical interventions and comprehensive multidisciplinary management. Exploring the etiology, clinical manifestations, and management approaches for these disorders is essential for healthcare professionals. During development, significant changes occur in the innervation and blood supply of the esophagus. Nerves and blood vessels establish connections with the developing esophagus, ensuring proper sensory and motor functions, as well as nutrient and oxygen delivery. Understanding the establishment of innervation and vascularization, as well as their changes during development, provides valuable insights into the maturation of the esophagus. Embryological studies have shed light on the intricate cellular and molecular processes underlying esophageal development. 
From the differentiation of the foregut to the establishment of innervation and vascularization, each stage contributes to the formation of a functional organ. Understanding the complexities of esophageal development aids in diagnosing and managing congenital anomalies and disorders that affect this vital structure. Through ongoing research, scientists and healthcare professionals strive to enhance our understanding of esophageal development, ultimately improving patient outcomes and care.